Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy Saturday. Let us pray. Father, Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. Holy Spirit, as we go into your word, please teach us yourself, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. It's so good to see you. I'm so, so happy. And um, I'm sure you've liked, you've shared, you've subscribed. If you've not done that, well, I believe that you've done that. So if this is your first time, you're welcome to this channel. And I know that the Lord Almighty will continually bless all of us in Jesus' name. Now today, the topic for us is don't look down on anybody. Don't look down on nobody. Now we're introduced to some lepers in the Bible. And these lepers were the kind of people that you would never ever believe that they would ever help. We know what the story, there was famine in the land. And these lepers, the Lord decided to use them that they looked at it and said, you know what? If we die, we'll die. Let's go and find out what is happening. And by the time they got to the, to the camp of the enemy, they found out that the enemies had run away. So what did they do? They plundered. They did everything. Then they thought about it, that this is not fair. Let's help others. So they went to tell the king. And we all know the rest of the story. That the prophecy that Elisha spoke came to reality true for lepers who would have known that you see what something my brother my sisters the prophecy that the lord has spoken to you or to, through somebody to you is going to take place through someone did you get that the prophecy the testimony that you've been waiting for the vision the dream that you had that man of god that woman of god i told you something that the lord said is going to happen true a man when we talk about a man we're talking about both male and female the ministry of men so how god will do it who god will use is the mystery god alone knows who is going to use he alone packages who is going to use so sometimes as children of god the person we are expecting we've already had the picture of the male that's going to bring it we're already thinking it should be DHL. I don't think Royal May should bring down my parcel. Or rather, it can't be DHL. It should be UPS. Meanwhile, the Lord is saying that it's not going to come through any of those. It's just going to come through the letterbox without even a stamp. Because his ways are totally different from our ways. My brother, my sisters in the Lord, we must never look down on anybody. Because you don't know who's going to bring the package of your good news. Those lepers were the least of people that you would think would ever help a whole nation, a leper. Not only were they lepers, number two, nobody moves with a leper. In those days when lepers are passing, they have to shout, unclean, unclean. The people will, if they are coming, passing through the market, they have to shout, unclean, unclean. The people will move for them to pass. Imagine, those were the people that God used. Never ever look down on somebody because that person might be, hmm, who is this? Never. I can't even talk to the person. But meanwhile, the person has the package to your testimony. You know, sometimes we have this um, human yard or human thinking or human um, perspective of how others should be. If people are not that way, they don't belong to your social class, then they can be together. We can be together. But meanwhile, that person you're looking at is a person that will help you to the next level. Never ever look down on anybody. Everybody we meet in the journey of our lives, my brother, my sisters, they have an impact to play. And that person you're looking at could be your destiny helper. Both in every ramification of our lives, spiritually, physically, mentally, financially you see i'll end this uh, teaching with a very 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 interesting story of a man that was going to look for a job this guy he's got his master's degree and he's going to see the ceo and he's going for the position very big position he's got a lot of experience his english is wonderful so he wakes up in the morning and he's on his way to go and see the CEO because he's guaranteed and he's sure that if he's able to go see the CEO, 
go for this interview is going to be successful because he's qualified, he's prayed, he's fasted. In fact, he's going on fasting. He's going for that interview fasting. Oh, the man of God has prayed for him. Woman of God has prayed for him. He just came back from the mountain. So he woke up in the morning. He's on his way. She woke up in the morning. She's on her way. And then she got to the company. And then she met a man by the door. He's called a gatekeeper. So she looked at him. He looked at him and said, who is this person? And that one said, I got good money. He's looking at what type of, what type of English is this? What are you talking about? Please, I have an interview. And the gatekeeper looks at him and says, there is no interview to do. Huh? What are you talking about? Okay, please let me enter. He said, no, I can't let you in. Unless I open the door for you, you can't come in. And you would think his village people are doing it more. Because, like joke like Joko, this gatekeeper did not allow him to enter. The gatekeeper speaking his own dialect and broken English did not allow him. And this interview is going to happen in less than five minutes. And this gatekeeper is still standing there. And guess what? He missed the interview. The question is, is this village people that is doing it or his own character? Now, I want us to flip the coin. He got there. He saw this gatekeeper. Oh, God, good morning. No, why is everything? I do. He comes down to the level of the guy and tells him, I did too, Oga. You see this country, eh? Oga, I get one interview this morning. I bet maybe you let me. Oga will say, Ah, Oga, go inside. Make I tell you something. When you go, this is how you will do. You see, my brother, my sister, ask Esther. When Esther was going to be a king, was going to be a queen, she needed a man, not Mordecai, but somebody that was like the gatekeeper. That person was the one that knows the perfume that the king likes. As a result of that, her character took her to the palace. Because why? She was very kind to this gatekeeper. So when the time came for them, for them to present the queen, to present the person that is going to replace Vashti, guess what happened, my brother, my sister? That gatekeeper told her, Esther, you have a good character. Let me tell you the secret of the king. Use this perfume. And we all know this the end of the story sometimes my brother my sister is not our village people it's not our soul enemies that is doing us but we look down on people we look down on people that are socially less than us we look down on people that are intellectually less than us we look down on people that in beauty less than us meanwhile those are the ones that have an information those are the ones that will open the key that is the person that god has sent to you from today, never ever look down on anybody. Because that person you look down, tomorrow might be the next CEO. That person you look down, spat and spoke against, look down and say, where is this person going to? Might be the person tomorrow that you will need the help. Let us, from today, treat others equally, no matter their social status. It's not about village people. It's about our character. And God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, Lord, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your word. Thank you for today. Father, in every aspect of our lives, please help us. That we will treat others with love. Treat them well. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Have a wonderful weekend and enjoy the weather. <laughs> Even though this weather is wonderful. May God help us in Jesus' name. Cold, hot. We, we thank God for everything in all situations. Thank God. Have a wonderful day and see you next week with another Saturday talk with Evangelist. God bless you. Shalom.